Okay, so I'm going to do a really easy project today. I am going to use my sublimational printer, which happens to be an Epson ET2720 that I love. And we are just going to um, print this and go ahead and iron it on. That's how easy it is. So um, anyway, we are going to use this really cool um, heat transfer that I have. It's a fabric uh, heat transfer. So it's kind of like that stretchy material. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's so cool. I will leave a link on what it is, but it's my favorite. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and hit um, make it. And let me plug this in real quick. And since it's an iron on, um, let me see, I haven't done this for a little bit. I forget if I have to mirror it. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so that's easy. So we're gonna hit continue and we're gonna send it to the printer. And so we need to find the Epson and give it just a second. We're gonna keep the bleed on too for this image. And we're gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay, so that's it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. Let me put the paper in and we're gonna get started. This is the paper I'm using on the sublimation um, printer. And I'm just gonna put it in like this with my one hand, okay. And we're gonna go ahead and hit print. That when it comes out, the um, ink is a lighter, but once you iron it, the, um, co the color pops. So if you'll note that the ink looks a little bit faded, um, but once the heat, it gets heat activated, it does darken. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to tape this really quick to the mat and I'm going to go ahead and use the print and cut feature um, so it looks nice. Okay, so now we are going to cut the image. Um, since this black part will show up um, as part of the design, I want it to be even. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead. I'm going to hit heat transfer and we're going to go ahead and get it cut. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut it and then what I'm going to do is just peel it. See where it's cut here and instead of just taking it off, I'm going to go ahead and peel it. And then we'll go ahead and lay it flat. But what I love about it is it's like that stretchy material that is super soft. It's not hard or you know like the typical i love it i definitely recommend this okay so i put it on the sweatshirt where i want it to be and then i'm going to go ahead and put this over it and i am using the easy press and the easy press is at 360 and we're just going to go ahead and do it for like three to five seconds so that was the fastest <laughs> project that I've done. It only took three to five seconds and it looks awesome. And I love this material. It's still a little hot, but it's um is that not that hard. It's like the stretchy. Um you know so you don't feel it is breathable. It's not the hard plastic stretchy. It's just it, I love it. It's super nice. So I'll go ahead and leave a comment what it is. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, like it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.